What's up everybody? This is Mini Golf Frank. Thanks again for watching one of my videos. I'm back at Hastings, Sussex, England. Today, a special treat for you and take you around one of my very favorite courses I've ever played, the Pirate Course. So this course is where they played the British Open. You use uh, optional balls, European mini golf balls to play this course in the most optimal way. And I'm gonna take you on a little bit of a tour of it. Let's get started. All right, so here's the beautiful facility here. Hastings, like right along the channel, English Channel right out there in the background, somewhere about you know, 25 to 30 miles out there and about that direction is France. So if you take a look out there, you can see the pirate ships and whatnot. But we're gonna go take you on a little bit of a tour, kind of show you the shots that I play. And maybe if you ever come here for a British Open in the future, yeah, you kind of have a good idea of how to play the course. All right, this is where you start. This is where you start for the pyro golf. Make your way down the pathway for your lovely swashbuckling adventure. Okay, so here we are, lane number one. And for this hole, I like to use a little stone clicker. There's multiple, multiple ways you can play this shot. The carpet here is actually quite fast now compared to what it was in the past. Um, so basically what I'm using here is a little, it's a little eight ball. It's a little stone clicker. Um, I like to just the weight of the ball. But what now I'm gonna show you a couple different ways you can play the shot. So there's actually, uh, I feel three different ways you can play the shot. One, you can go from the right side and the putt will break from right to left. It's pretty fast. Let's get it, send it down there. So that's one, that's one way you can, you can play the hole from right to left that way. And then there's another shot from the left side. These bushes over here on this are in play. You actually kind of standing on top of the rail. This is a little bit more that's the thing is the, the, the carpet's so thin, it's hard to keep the ball stay here, but there's a way for you to play it from this side as well. Play it down there, but the problem is the ball, want, the ball wants to drift to the left. So I, I like to using the, from the right side of the tee, going from right to left. And there's also another way where you can play it over here on the rail from the far right side. And you're going one, two, three, four, five, uh, basically to the sixth brick. Oh, I hit a little, I hit some bird, bird poop on that one. Let me show you again. Basically from the far right side. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hit a little bit too late, but that's 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 basically the three ways you can play lane number one. And like I said, I'm using a little stone. A little stone clicker, some people will use a heavier glass ball just to try to go straight down, just straight down the middle of the lane. I prefer to use this ball because I use this ball on the same, on, the, on lanes one, two, and three. So we're gonna move on to lane two. Okay, so here lane two, um, it's kind of difficult to get the right camera angle. And for you to actually get the right angle to make for the optimal line of the shot, you actually have to come very close to the corner here the ball tracks down the green. This is a little rise. You can see how that ball turns around. So you want the ball entering from the right side and then it makes a gentle turn to the left and enters the cup. The big challenge on this hole is your stance. So if you watch carefully, this bush is, is totally in my way. I need to be as far left as possible on the tee mat in order to be able to get the optimal line so your back, 
It's actually up, I have a little pouch on today, but your back is actually up against the bushes and you're kind of leaning yourself in here to try to get the best line. And you need to hit this one a little bit firmer. I should take off up that slope. Oh, and I just missed on the left side. But that's basically the gist of the shot is you're trying to get yourself as far left possible into these bushes to get yourself aiming, you know, so your ball's rolling pretty close to there. That'll give you the right angle when you come up the slope, give you the best chance for the ace. And that's hole two. And the, hole, the shots from behind the hole, these are all generally very straight. So I just finished up a little bit back past the hole here. And then you are allowed relief of 20 centimeters or about eight inches. And the putts from back here are generally pretty straight. Just like that. That's basically the gist of lane two. The, the, the thing is um, players trying to play the shot a little bit too carefully, they end up coming up short and the ball ends up rolling down there. And then you have a difficult putt for a two. Otherwise it's a pretty straightforward hole. You just have a little bit of a difficult stance. Moving on to lane three. Okay, so here we are on lane three. Um, there's a few different ways you can play this shot as well. The two shots that I like to, to try to play. One, you can come over here on the right side of the tee and you're kind of hitting a double bank shot into the, off the rock and come across that way. So that's one way you can play the shot. Basically hitting the rail here off of this rock and it angles in towards the hole. But sometimes you don't get the same bounce. It's a little bit inconsistent. So there's another way you can go basically center of the tee. And then there's a, there's a mounding over here. You can use that to swing the ball and try to get it to track on the right line. I prefer to use the shot on the slope because once you dial this in, it's pretty good. Let's see if I can remember the spot to hit. Something like that, there you go. So you're using, you're using this hill to straighten the ball out and it's gonna catch the very base of this hill as you just saw and it just tracks it straight into the hole. If you miss, you end up in this area and the putts are just generally right to left and not too big of a deal. So that's basically the gist of how to play lane three here at the Pirate Course at Hastings. Moving on to lane four. Okay, so here we are at lane four. This one's a little bit more difficult to capture the entirety of the hole. Get myself set up here. Um, for the next five holes, let me make sure we're set up. You can't really see the back of the hole. Like I said, it's very, very difficult to get this one. So for the next, the next five, so the first three lanes, I use the eight ball little stone clicker. And then for the next five lanes, I'm going to use a very rough ball, is very high bounce. If I can find it. Here we are. Okay, so the for the, so the, for the first four lanes, I use the um, I use I use the eight ball, right? So if I were to drop this on the green from from well, you know one meter high, that's how it bounces, right? See the difference here on on how much bounce there is. So the reason why is on, on this hole, the optimal shot for you to try to make an ace is you're starting from the very far left of the tee. It's going to be hard for you to see very far left of the tee, you're hitting very early and the ball's going to track down here. It's going to kind of come close to this elbow here and it's going to track down the carpet line and hopefully have a good chance to make an ace. That's the optimal shot to make an ace. However, there's some danger because if you don't hit the spot right, um, you, could, you can go into the elbow, leaving yourself a very, very difficult putt for, for a... Uh, for a two. So I need to try to remember the teeing, teeing off area. And this one's quite difficult to get the ball to stay on the cart because it's so quick. It's somewhere. Yeah, it's so hard. To <laughs> it's so hard to get the ball to stay on the carpet because it's so thin. That one gonna stay? All right, so let me see if I can remember how to it doesn't look right. 
I think it's here and it should be around the middle of the fourth brick. You just want to get it, no, that was too soon. So that's what I was talking about. That's, that's what ends up happening if you hit it too early on the rail. And now you have this, this is your second putt, trying to just get it down there somewhere to get it close to the hole. So I need to move down one brick. One, two, three, four, five. Same spot. If I can get it to stay there. Okay, it's just not wanting to stay. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go to brick number five. There you go. Let's see if that one will get all the way down there. I just barely got that started, and that's 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 a really good shot. Now the other thing too to, to, to keep in mind when you're using these very high bounce balls, here's a possibility. Let's see if I can demonstrate it. If you hit this with the perfect pace, the ball can actually just jump right out of the hole. If it's a dead center. See, so yeah, I might not have been able to tell, but that ball actually bounced. And if you get it with the perfect pace, it will actually it could actually bounce right back out of the hole. So using these high, super high bounce balls, there is um, some advantages to it. But then you got to make sure when you hit your par putts that you hit them with the proper pace into the hole. And we're going to move on to lane number five. Okay, so here we are, lane number five. And as I described earlier, starting on lane four, I'm using the same rough very high bounce ball for the next five lanes. So lanes four, five, six, seven, and eight. And the reason why is this hole, is what, this is the first hole that has a little dish. So if you look here closely, there's a dish around the hole. Well, if I can just throw it in there. There's a little bit of a, there's a, there's a dish, there's a dish effect there. So you wanna to try to use the entirety of the dish um, to have your to give yourself the best chance for the ace. Now, if you try to come through the front here, the wind is actually blowing this way today, and it's extremely delicate speed to get the ball to turn and to stay perfectly in there. So I developed a shot where I go past the hole, use the back wall, and bring it back this way. So you're kind of starting um, right center of the tee. You run it up this little slope, go past the hole, run it up the slope, bring it past the hole, if it, and then bring it back like that. If it catches the dish just like that, that's how, that's how you can make the ace here on hole number five. That, to me, that's the best possible chance because the only thing that you need to avoid is hitting the hole. But if you hit the hole dead center, it can, it can bounce in. Anywhere in this dish, the ball will funnel hit back anywhere, and then as long as you have the right speed, it'll come back and either go straight in or find the dish as I just demonstrated there. And that's basically the best way to play lane number five. Okay, here in lane number six, I'm gonna demonstrate a couple shots. The shot that I use also still uses the same rough high bounce ball, I'm doing a double rebound shot. The ball's gonna come through here, it's gonna bounce over here, and then it's gonna come back towards the hole and I'm gonna show you why that's the very best shot. So this hole, when you look at it, it looks like you can just go straight straight into the hole, but the problem is you have a, you have a ridge here and it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to go perfectly in. And if you see with that green ball, if you're just a fraction off one way or the other, because you can't get the ball to stop, all right? So it doesn't matter if you use a regular golf ball, rough ball, if you, you can't just go straight you can't just go straight at it if you try to go straight at it and you don't have the right pace look how slow i mean here's a here's a heavy glass ball here's a dead ball right so they, they, they all trickle out and you just don't want to have that and it just doesn't roll perfectly straight when it comes over the mound so that's why trying to just go over the mound it's it's not the best shot you just too much danger trying to hit hit your par putts from, from back here.
way too much danger. I'm making some of those look easy, just backhanding them in, but you know, you don't, you don't want to have these um, in the tournament. Okay, so you need to develop a shot that will work, you know, under, under tournament conditions. And that's why I developed a double banking shot. Somebody else had kind of shown me the theory. I, I, I took it to a different level and made it, made it my own shot. You can go directly past the hole, but it's, it's incredibly dangerous because if you miss, the ball can come back over the hill and it's it's really, really touchy line. Okay, so the double rebound shot on six using the high bounce turbo ball. Starting from the right side of the tee. If I remember the teeing position, I think it was right on the line. Okay, so the ball's gonna come come through the green here, just like this. It's gonna hit somewhere in this area. It's gonna bounce over to the right wall and then come back and track back towards the hole. It seems more complicated than it really is. Hopefully I can demonstrate a good shot. There's one, there's two, and that's a really good way, I didn't make it, but that's a really good way for you to get the ball super close to the hole very consistently. And when you, once you master the shot, the green actually kind of slopes back towards there and there's a little bit of a drop pocket that you can use to help you out. That's the gist of how to play lane six. Okay, and here's the exciting lane number seven. And there's so much um, danger on this hole that most of the players that play the tournaments, the top players, just try to lay up in an area around the cup. It's a very high risk, high reward shot that I play but you actually have a good chance to make an ace. Grab my items here. You have a good chance to make an ace and you also have the chance to just lay it up as well. The danger is just trying, just hitting it too hard. So this hole is exciting because this, the hole sits in a little tongue area. So you have this flat, you have a flat area here where the ball can stay and the hole also sits in another little dish like it did on lane five, All right? So there's a very, very shallow dish here. It's maybe, you know, maybe only maybe an inch and a half or two inches deep. So with the perfect, absolute perfect pace, you can ride the ridge, ride it along this tongue area and get the ball to travel out. And if it just catches that dish, just like that, if it just catches that, but your speed has to be absolutely perfect. So the shot that I play goes back past the hole, uses that board, uses the, the bricks behind the hole and brings it up. And you can generally always end up in these areas. And these hole, these putts are generally pretty straight. So that's the reason why I do it. I want to give myself to make a chance to make an ace, but hit it with the pace that, um, that I leave myself a good chance for twos. Because if you go too fast with this high bounce ball, that one's not too bad, but it is possible if you get a bad bounce, the ball can come all the way back down in this area, and those putts are extremely difficult. So whatever you decide to do, some players will play a dead ball, which I'll show you that. So either way, you're starting from the right side of the tee. So this is a NIFO 2. Start from the right side of the tee, and basically just smash, just smack it down there. Just smack it down there. And just let it die up against the up against the rail like that, and you and you leave yourself a very straight in putt for a two. You're never going to make an ace, but you always have a good chance. You have a good chance to make a two. So there's there's that there's that uh, option if you want it. I prefer the very um, exciting high bounce shot rebound shot. Just get the ball up, run it past the hole. It's okay if you hit it. I'm gonna give myself a chance to make an ace. And the, the putts from down here, very simple. It's very straightforward. It's difficult to make an ace. 
but the putts from down there are so easy that I want to give myself a chance. Like I said, the danger is hitting it too hard. So I'm going to try it one more time. That one actually hit the hole. If I just would have missed it, missed the hole on one way or the other, um, you have a good chance. So you're starting from the very far right side of the tee. Uh, I missed it. But you can see I'm still, there's still no problem. It's, it's still a very touchy shot. This hole, if you were playing seven rounds, you might ace it once. Um, but this is not one that you would try to ace. I just use the, the high bounce ball just because I want to give myself a chance to make an ace, but I'm always around the hole for a two. And the, the, the par putts aren't too bad. So we're going to move on to hole number eight. Okay, so here we are at hole or lane number eight. Um, so this hole, the feature is that it goes uphill. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can play the shot. Um, so I'm going to use a dead ball. And then I'm also going to use, so this is the dead ball. And then I'm also using the high bounce ball. The high bounce ball, the shot is what I like to play. It's a double rebound shot. So you can go straight down the lane if you want to. And basically, you're just trying to get the ball with the pace to just creep over. That was a bad shot. There's a, there's a hill here. You just get the ball to just to creep over the hill, and you have it. And, and you and you can make it. You can make it that way. Um, the problem is if you miss, you're always way back here for your for your par putts. Okay, so that's that's one way you can play it. Any kind of ball, if you want to use a heavy glass ball, if you want to use a dead ball, you can just get it and just, just get the ball with the pace that it's just, just getting over the hill and it tracks down and it can go in the hole that way. Or you can use a high bounce ball. You're running it along this water area and bouncing it up here. Double rebound shot. The ball comes down the slope past the hole off of here and back in and the reason why i like the shot is you always if you hit as long as you get the pace right and you you master the shot you always be around the hole and you have a good chance to make it too you do not have to hit this very hard at all pass the hole off the back wall something like that and try one more time I hit that one a little bit too far down the rail and a little bit too slow. So starting from the right. The treasure is buried under the castle ruins, lads, and we've been digging there for years. Off the wall, missed the hole, off the back. Come on, ball. Ah! But that's that's the gist of it. And you're always you're always around the hole and you have a good chance to a good chance of making the ace. And that is basically the gist of lane eight. So you just want to make sure that whatever you do, you don't leave it up. You don't, you don't want to leave it short. You know, get, make sure you get the ball down the hill. Now, you know, I was able to make the, make the putt from there, but I don't even know if the high bounce ball is even going to work. Let's see. Okay, I got it. But yeah, so you just want to make sure you get it just past this rock. Anywhere past here, it'll come down the hill. You have a chance for an ace, or like I said, um, one more time. My personal shot is the double rebound. This shot is it's pretty easy to do. And you don't have to hit it that hard. It's off the wall, off the back. I'm still hitting it a little bit too slow. You, if, if that has the, that has just the right angle. Um, to come past the hole and it's really it's actually quite quite difficult to actually hit the hole from that spot too all right gonna move on to lane number nine okay lane number nine the high bounce ball shenanigans are over and now we're moving on to a dead ball okay this hole sits in a little shelf all right so there's there's drops off drop offs here here everything Everything here drops off. So if you were to try to use another kind of ball with too much bounce, okay, I'm not gonna use a glass ball, but. 
Yeah, any, anything but a glass ball or a clicker, it just has too much bounce. And you see how how far how far that ball came back, right? So if you try to use a you know a turbo ball and it doesn't go in, there it goes. So that ball has about 20 centimeters of bounce. And you can see how, how, how far these balls are tracking out, right? So that's why it's important for you to know some of these balls. If you hit it a little bit too fast, even the regular golf ball, it didn't go in, all right, and it's coming all the way back. So we solved that by using the dead ball. So this is a NEFO 2 that I'm using. This is the blue and red ball, okay? So the NEFO 2, blue and red ball. You start from the left side of the tee. You can basically just, just miss, the, miss the hole anywhere. Except that. <laughs> that was not a good example. Just, miss, just barely missed the hole on the left lip. That was not a good example. Off the back wall, and the ball has the perfect bounce to get it back. I missed it again. Ah. Uh, take number three. Actually have to aim at the hole to miss the hole. So aim at the hole, miss the hole, there you go. That's exactly how you want to play that shot. That ball gives you the perfect rollout to where you miss the hole, right? It hits the back wall and there's a little drop pocket here. Even if you miss on this side, see how there's a little bit of a, little bit of a, there's a little pocket there. If you get it, it'll swirl, it'll swirl, it'll swirl it around. There you go. A, there's a good example of, of that. So that's how you play lane number nine. Okay, so here we are on lane 10. Lane 10, I'm back to using the little stone eight ball that I showed you earlier um, that I use on lanes one, two, and three. So the optimal shot here, starting from the right side of the tee, I'm gonna come through here, hit this area, and the ball's gonna track down. It's all downhill. This is all about speed, hitting, hitting the wall with the right speed. Too fast, so too fast. You can see how that ball is trickling, trickling, trickling. And then the putts, from, the putts from down here, they go left to right. It's not too bad. If you get the right, get the right speed, get it really close to the wall, And that one's a little bit too far left. It does work with other balls, but I found from my testing on this one that the, the stone clicker has the best chance. Just, just getting the right speed. Too far left, maybe. Yeah, so that was a little bit too far left as well. But you get the ball, you get the ball down there with the right speed. I'll try one more. It'll just, it'll track out. Um, I'm trying to get it with the right speed so you can see just how, how quick that that downhill section is. Try to get a better T spot here. All right, there we go. That could be pretty good. Perfect, so there you go. You get the right speed. Once the ball hits this part of the green, it just wants to curl just to the right a little bit. And that's the best way to play lane number 10 here at the Pirate Course in Hastings. Moving on to the skull hole. All right, here's the skull hole. This is lane number 11. Why is it the skull hole? Because there's a skull you hit it into. The object is to get it into this little ramp area right underneath the, the front teeth. There's a little box. It drops down a chute. And the hole sits right in this area. 
This hole actually has a dish as well. Very, very small one, but there's a little bit of a dish there that you can see um, that will help you with the ball comes out of the pipe at a good speed. It catches anywhere in there, it's in. This hole can be uh, really fun or it can be very, very frustrating if you're not lucky and get a good, and get a good result out of the pipe. I'm gonna show you two camera angles. The first one I'm gonna show you playing up the ramp into the box. It's quite difficult to get the right angle, so I'm gonna to try to do the best I can. Unfortunately, you're gonna, I'm gonna be right in your way. So the first ball I'm gonna try is a rough ball. This is a Team Sweden ball. But this putt goes from left to right up the ramp. So you kinda of wanna aim at the left, left part of the ramp and to take it left to right. This is a very big, it's a very big, heavy, rough ball. So when it comes out of the pipe, it just missed the dish, super close. Next one I'm gonna try is a regular golf ball. Okay, so in the box. Came out of the pipe. And that one came out of the dish as well. So the second camera angle, I'm gonna hit those balls again so you can kind of see what happens when it comes out of the pipe. All right, so those, you know, un unfortunately they didn't go in, but you know, there's really not much you can do. You just hit them into the box and hope something good happens. So just to show you, you know, just how close that was, if I just would have got stayed in that funnel you just would have stayed in the funnel area, it would have tracked in. So I'm gonna hit the same two, same two balls again. This is the rough version of the Team Sweden ball from 2019, and then I'm using a green Chromax. So just get it up in the box somewhere and hope something good happens. That one came out to the left again. Into the box. That one maybe catches a dish? No. So for whatever reason, when the ball's coming out of the pipe, it's just having this weird kind of left bias in it. I'm not sure why it's doing that. There might be something in the pipe. Um, but yeah, you just get it. If the, bite, if the ball comes out of the pipe at the right speed, you just get it come, catch and catch, you know, come catch the dish and you have a chance for an ace. But that's how you play the skull hole here at Hastings. Okay, moving on to lane 12. You can actually use um, any ball you want on this hole, but the gist of the shot is always the same. You're gonna come up this little rise, little rise, and there's a little dish. If you get the right speed, uh, I almost got it with the purple one, but if you get it with the right speed and it catches the dish just like that, it'll go in. So that's the whole, the whole point of it, just to get it up the little slope, get it to catch the dish, anywhere on the dish, glass ball. So you just want to try to get it, the dish, the dish is from here to here. Okay, so you want to aim from the tee, it's going to be from the right side, it's going to come up this little hill, you want to catch the right side of the dish, or you can go straight in, but catching the right side of the dish, the ball will swirl around and, and there's, and thankfully on this one, there's no flat spots. Once you get it in that dish, it's basically, it's basically in. So I'm gonna show you a uh, heavy glass ball. This is the, uh, and, and also that little eight ball stone clicker. I try to simplify this down to as, as few balls as possible when I play these courses, just to make it easier because when you try to play shots that are heavy, they, some balls are very heavy, some balls are very light. So, you know, you want to try to keep keep a similar feel. So you want to start from the right side. That might be too fast. So that was too fast. You can see how I caught the I caught the very edge of the dish. That was a bit too fast. That was all. Might be good. There you go. So there's. So I'll hit a few other balls out there so you can kind of see. So 
So you can go that way. It's all basically the same shot though. Just get it up there. Try to catch the dish. So here's the uh, Team Sweden ball. That was a little bit too fast. Golf ball. Too fast. You just want to get the dead weight of that to go, go up the slope, catch the right side of that. Catch the right side of that dish. Catch the dish. There you go. That's a perfect example. Perfect example there. So that's, that's how you want to play it from the right side. Basically aiming at the right edge of the dish. It's easier to see. Right now the carpet's wet. In the background, you got the pirate ship. It actually shoots out water and steam. All right, so the water just came right on the, on the course. So there's a little bit of a dynamic of the carpet's actually dry, right? The carpet's dry over here, but then once you get down the lane, it's wet. Makes it quite challenging going from dry carpet to wet carpet, but the gist of the shot's always the same. Get it somewhere in the dish, and you have a good chance to ace number 12 here at the pirate course. Okay, so here we are, lane 13. This is a very good chance to make an ace. Um, there's, there's also a little dish on this hole as well. So if you get the ball into the dish area, you have a dish area is from here to here. It's quite a wide dish. Um, this one's a little bit deeper than the other one, so it's slightly more forgiving. The gist of the shot is the same wherever you play from the tee. You want to miss the hole on the right off the back wall. I'm using a ball with about 20 centimeters or so of bounce. So you want to give this a nice pace, some nice pace, get it past the hole, bring it back in just like that. So I'm using two different versions of the fun for kids balls, but it's all basically the same. Even, even if you hit the hole, as long as you have the right pace, you have a chance to go in. That's, that's all you need to know about lane 13. Just get it past, just don't hit the hole directly on. Here or here, off the back wall with the ball around 25 centimeters of bounce, and it'll find its way in its dish. Very good chance to make an ace on lane 13, and you don't have to be perfect. That's what I like about it. Moving on to 14. Okay, so here we are on lane 14. Um, this hole is harder to ace than it looks like it is. It's very finicky, very touchy, and the carpet's super fast, and it's all downhill. A couple ways you can play this shot. Some people will try to, to go from the right side and just try to hit a shot where they just go straight down the lane. You see how softly I touched that. Now ball's gonna turn to the left and sometimes it lines up and sometimes it doesn't. So that ball just missed on the left lip. All right, so you just basically touch it and it, it's, it's gonna go all the way down there. All right, and it's, and it's past the hole. Those, those were both very soft, spongy balls. Um, so I prefer to use a different shot where I come off, off, I miss the side of the hole, off the back rail and bring it back in. That way I don't have these really long uh, putts for par. Okay, so this one, I'm back to the very high bounce, rough, very fast ball again. Okay, so the very fast ball. Now you can use a glass ball as well and do, and do more of a, a trickle down shot. So glass ball, you can start from kind of like left center of the tee and you're basically using the little using the slope over here to bump the ball to try to give it a chance to track down into the hole like this. So that's one way you can do it. So I missed that I missed my spot a little bit to the to the right. Or you can use a very fast ball. And that glass ball's in the way, but you can use the slope, go past the hole and bring it back this way. Now, the danger is actually hitting the hole itself. But even if you hit the hole itself, the result isn't that bad. Okay, so if I remember the T position here, let's give it a go. Get it up around, bounce it in. Oh, just like that. That was, that was basically it. You just wanna barely miss the hole one way or the other. Get the ball back past the hole, bring it back in. You know, or maybe, maybe it'll work better if it comes this way. Yeah, so that's, that's the gist of uh, doing the um, shot off the back. You always get the ball close to the hole. 
the shot from using the slope or you trying to just barely trickle it down there to so just get it started see if it'll find the track see if it'll find the track all right so you just just want to get it started here's a here's a stone clicker just trying to find a little track there to get it to to track down if you can find the track just like that that's a really good shot too but if you're a fraction off on your speed you'll never make it but that's the gist of lane number 14. Okay, so here's, here's lane 15. This show you two different camera angles. This is a pipe hole. Okay, so the first part of, from the T is straight up the hill into the little pipe area that sits in that little dish. The pipe exits right here in this middle rock and then the hole also sits in a dish. When the ball comes out of the pipe, it exits extremely fast. Okay, so hopefully what I can do is kind of give you, an, I can't, one, I'm gonna hit a couple balls up the ramp so you can see going into the pipe, it basically breaks ever so slightly from uh, right to left. I need to retrieve my balls out of the previous hole. You can use whatever ball you want. Um, most people, I think, tend to use a golf ball or you can use a very rough ball if you want to. The issue is that, and I'll try to demonstrate both. The issue is that when it comes out of the pipe, it's coming out of the pipe so fast, there's no way to control that part. You can control getting into the pipe, which is quite easy. Basically aiming on the right edge and just getting it up the slope, just like that. But when it comes out of the pipe, that one came out good. So that rough ball came out quite slow. So regular golf ball, if you miss like that, the ball ends up tracking out down there. So this is gonna be, this is just, it's gonna hit a bunch of balls up there so you can kind of see, let's we'll see what happens. And that one went in as well. So you can use whatever ball you want on lane 15, but that's, that's basically the gist of it. So let's try to show you a different camera angle here, seeing the ball come out of the pipe. I hit a few more balls down there. You can tee it up anywhere on the green. Actually, let's go back. So I'm gonna show you one other option of a way to get it into the dish. So let's get you right, right here close to the action. And we'll bring this camera down. Okay, so. There's another way if you're struggling to try to get the ball into the little pipe area. You can tee the ball up on the right side. Okay. You can use this rock up here to kick the ball, get it into the dish. Wow. And see, that's the danger. The ball stayed right there. There's a little gap here. There's a, there's a little gap right there. But that's the danger of it. I've never actually, I've never actually practiced this. I don't think I've ever even tried it. Up, up on the rock. Nope. But if you're struggling with trying to get the right pace, kick it off the rock. There you go. Stayed in the dish. And let's see what happens. Raced out there. That's so that one came flying out of the, out of the pipe. And that's, that's, that's the result. There is a little bit of a dish. So when you hit your par putts, this is a good example. So there's a little bit of a dish area, making the par putts pretty easy. You can just swirl it around if you miss the hole uh, one way or the other. But that's basically the gist of how to play lane 15 here at the Pyro course. Okay, here we are lane 16. This one, um, it's kind of finicky how it plays. So there's a few different ways you can play the shot. The hole sits down in this area, but the thing is here, there's a little bit of a rise right there. So you have to get it up this little shelf. And then there's another rise, right, or there's a little slope right there, right? So if you're trying to play a shot, you know, there's, you have to make sure you get it over that as well. And then the hole sits, hole sits in this flat area. Now there's a few different ways you can play this shot. The shot that I prefer to play 
is using the eight ball stone clicker that I talked to you guys about before. Starting from the left side of the tee as far as you can, off the rock, off the back wall and in. Off the rock, off the back wall. Ah, that's the shot I prefer to play. Very consistent bounce. And the only thing is hitting the hole um, off of the rock. There's another way you can play the shot. I'm not exactly sure which ball to use. So I'm gonna try a few different balls and I have some new balls that I have that I've gotten recently. So let's see what happens. Basically you can play a shot really fast and down, and down that way. So that was a 4-4-3. So let's try the 2-6-3. Go really fast into the corner. That one's not going to work. That was the, the first one was the 4-4-3. The second one was the 2-6-3. And I also have a 3-6-3. So let's see if the 3-6-3, wherever it is. Okay, 3-6-3. So let's try the 363 and see if that one's useful on this lane. I felt like I needed just a little bit more bounce than the 263. So let's try the 363. You can run it past that rock. It doesn't work if you try to do something like that with a regular golf ball. It just doesn't it doesn't work right, right? So you try to use a regular golf ball, too much bounce. It's going to catch that slope. Now the result was good, but that's, that's very dangerous to try that with a regular golf ball. So, like I said, for this particular shot, if you get one of these little stone clickers, start from the left side. Okay, start from the left side. Try to get it around center of the rock. Center rock. Oh, and that's the danger. It's, it's catching the hole. Center rock. Just miss the hole one way or the other. Off the back rail and have a chance to make it that way. Uh, but that's the gist of how to play lane 16 here at the Pirate Course. Okay, so here's lane 17. Unfortunately, this is the best camera angle to show you the hole and the entirety of it. A few different ways you can play this shot. You're not using a turbo ball on this one. Okay, so, or a glass ball. A couple different ways you can play this shot. You can start all the way from the left. I'm using a ball with about 25 centimeters of bounce. And basically, I'm trying to hit... Here in the middle of the third brick, there's a dish. So, third brick, kick it out there. Oops, uh, it's actually the fourth brick. There's a little bit of a dish here. Oops. So the fourth brick, one, two, three, four. Like this. Get the ball down there and it's gonna catch the little dish. And that's, that's how you can do it. That's one way, that's my preferred shot. You can also use a regular golf ball hitting the third brick. Or hitting the same spot again. <laughs> Oops. Okay, fourth brick, golf ball. It'll catch that, catch the hill. Track over, that one catch the dish, it did. All right, so that's, that's, those are two different ways you can play it. 25, 20, 25 centimeter bounce ball off the fourth brick or the regular golf ball a little bit farther down. Um, there's another way where you can go from the, from the right side and go up the hill, around it, come through the sides and that's, that's another way you can make the shot. Round it through the sides, hits off the back wall and goes in, or it'll bounce off of these areas here if it doesn't go all the way through, off the back, and it goes in that way. So that's, that's the gist of how you play lane 17 here at the Pirate Course. And we're gonna move on to 18. So absolutely gorgeous day again. There's a little bit of Hastings and the cliffs. And then here is lane number 18. 
Okay, and finally we're here at lane 18. I'm going to show you two different ways to play with two different balls. So this hole is a down and back hole. You go up the hill. If you don't get it far enough, see that ball, that ball will come back. The, basically the hill ends right about, right about there. Fraction too soft. Actually, I guess it ends right about there. Fraction too soft, it's coming back to the T. Now, the other thing is, there's a plateau, there's a shelf up here, and then it goes to the right, just barely, and that ball tracks down to the hole. It's two different ways to play it. Play a dead weight shot, trying to use a heavy glass ball or ac acrylic ball, just barely trundle it over the edge there, or you can go back past the hole with a very fast high bounce ball a rough high bounce ball and go past the hole and bring it back that way. So the gist of the shot is to try to keep the ball as low as you can around this curve. It'll miss the hole on the right side, bounce and come back in that way. This is all about your speed. The line is a little bit important. It's all about the speed to make sure you keep the ball as low as you can in, in the bowl area. They'll come out, miss the hole on the right, off the back wall, and that was a little bit too slow. Fraction too slow. Or you can try the dead weight shot. Glass ball, get it up the ramp. Just get it barely trundling down. And then you, you can try it that way as well. All right, so those, those are basically the two options for you to try to play it. Um, try to make lane 18. It's not a great ace. Oh no, I dropped it. Chip my. Uh... Oh no, Carl Carl Johan. I'm really uh, Carl, Carl Johan. I'm really sorry about that, man. I I dropped the uh, I dropped your uh, Uppsala ball on the concrete. I gotta make sure I give him a shout out for that. Hopefully, I can get another one one day. So, or you can come all the way from the right side. Can use the slope this way. Same thing with the glass ball. And bring it down towards the hole. That was a little bit too fast. Try one more with the... Uh... I just need to hit it just a little bit faster. Still not quite fast enough. So, you hit it slightly faster than that. It misses the edge of the hole. All right, so it, it, comes, it comes back past the hole, like this, off the back wall, and then it funnels back this way, and you have a chance to make it. So that is how you play the Pyro course here at Hastings. Thanks again for watching, I really appreciate it. This is Mini Golf Frank. I'm having a wonderful time here in England. Beautiful weather, great people, the World Crazy Championships. Uh, team event starts tomorrow, I'm super excited about that. Kale. Really sorry about your ball. I dropped it on the sidewalk. Hopefully it doesn't affect it too much, but there's definitely some chipping on it, so I really apologize for that. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Once again, Mini Golf Frank. Share the videos with your friends. Just trying to get people um, come out and play more miniature golf, show you how fun it is. Have a great day.